We do in guitar use a very special clef. It's the normal G clef, the violin clef, but it has a little eight under it. Look at this. Here you see the eight. This means that all the notes that we see and read in music for guitar sound actually one octave lower than they were written. Here you see the range of the notes on a modern guitar with 19 frets as we read it in modern notation. It's actually three and a half octave more or less from the E2 to the B5. And here you see the reason why we use a clef with one octave higher written notes than actually sounding. Because if we have them in the G clef, which is the normal violin clef, notes must have this number of ledger lines, which are actually impossible to count on one side. These are seven ledger lines. When the notes are so low, in the bass range of the music, why didn't they use the bass clef, the F clef? Look at this. The reason is very easy. We have the lowest note, the E, on one ledger line, but the highest one, the B, again on seven ledger lines. And that's hard to read. The modern choice seems still to be the best. There could have been anyway the possibility to write guitar music in piano notation. So in two steps with the bass clef and the treble clef as well, both of them. And that would be this way. And actually this is very, very easy to see and easy to read. Just one ledger line and that's quite easy to read. The reason why we did not do that in guitar is that we don't play so many notes as pianists do. So there would be a lot of white spaces as you see above and, um, and, and below the, the two staffs where, where there's actually written nothing. And um, that would be a waste of paper, which um, in the beginning of the editions for guitar was just a matter of cost. It was too expensive just to waste so much paper. There was, however, one possibility that in the ancient times has been ignored because there are other clefs than the G clef, the treble clef and the bass clef, the F clef. There are the C clefs and there is for tenor instruments or for the tenor to sing, which is the tenor clef. If we write guitar notation, the tenor clef, you actually see that nearly everything what the low notes concerns goes with three ledger lines just at the modern notation and above we have five lines for the high B in a 19 fret modern guitar. So that could have been the right choice. Here you see the beginning of a choir song by Johannes Brahms, Der Rosmarin, uh, where you see the tenor, the third voice, in that tenor clef. And more than that, you see the alto in the alto clef, which still exists today for the viola, and the soprano voice in the soprano clef. And all of that three are C clefs. And that were clefs used in the 19th century up to the late 19th century. Even if, here you see the 1873 edition of that song by Brahms, and you can see that here all the three higher voices are written in the treble clef. We can observe in the tenor voice that there is no eight under the treble clef. So they did not care too much that actually the tenor is written too high. Here you can see the G on the third guitar string, how it would be written in the various clefs. The bass clef, it would be written very high. The alto clef, then the tenor clef, our actually guitar clef with a little eight beneath, and the normal treble clef with the G quite low. As you can see, the alto and the tenor clefs are not that distant from the octaving treble clef, so they all could have been good choices for guitar music. And probably 
that treble clef was the easiest to read and that was an important thing in that century because music had to sell and music for amateur guitarists had to sell and probably amateur guitarists already knew reading music as violinists or flutists or something or singers so the treble clef would suit very much to their capability to read music more than a treble or an alto clef. There are other things to consider. When in guitar music we pass from tablature to music, the guitars we had were five chorus guitars or five single string guitars that were still lacking the low E string. So the lowest note was just an A. And the music would have fit very well in the octaving treble clef. Here you see the three octaves that actually were on a 17 fret with late 18th and early 19th century guitar. When we read the methods and the music that actually was composed for that instrument, the high notes that were higher than the 10th fret actually did not appear in most of the at least beginning pieces for guitar. So the range that was needed in music are the notes that you see marked in this picture. So we have below and above the staff just two ledger lines. In this picture you can see two original editions from early guitar methods. The first one is by Giacomo Merchi, who was an Italian guitarist working in Paris, and he published a method that's not called method anyway, but first instructions for playing the guitar in 1763. And here you see the range that actually were in first position on the five single strings that he used on his guitar. That's due to the tablatures that were in use still in that time. Uh, for proof, we see above the Merki example um, a method by a mysterious author. We don't know really the name because he signed his book as BDC and was published by Antoine Marcel Lemoyne in Paris in 1773. That's a quite interesting method because it's both tablature and written music. We'll come to that later because you can ask yourself why didn't guitar music continued to be written in tablature? But we will see that in another video. The French tablature, which uses letters for the positions, and beneath the tablature you see the music staff with a normal treble clef without the eight. Well, you already knew why we used the treble clef with the eight. Now you have an idea how it came to that point, because actually they switched in the middle of the, well, in the second half of the 18th century, they just chose the treble clef without caring very much that actually it's written an octave higher than it sounds. The little eight under the treble clef is a modern addition, so that nowadays we actually consider four different clefs in use, which is the treble clef, the viola or alto clef, the tenor clef, the F clef, and if you want, the fifth one, which is the octavating treble clef or the guitar clef. Let's call that guitar clef. Is that okay for you? Thank you for watching. See you the next time. Bye.